This is the uh, steady head drill. This is for players who show too much head movement either to the left or to the, to the right in some point of their swing. The problem with too much head movement is it throws the body out of balance and or it can cause uh, the shoulders and the pivot to work incorrectly also. So the first step in this drill is just to stand tall. The best way to do this is to have some sort of feedback like a mirror that you're facing <clears throat> or you could obviously use the reflection on a window uh, if you're doing this outside. So step one is standing tall, just holding the club about waist high. We're going to take a back swing with feedback, which for me is the mirror. And wherever the top of your back swing is, depends on flexibility. But again, we want to see the head pretty much directly in between the feet at the top of this simulated swing standing up. Just like that. Stage two of the drill will be to slightly bend over from your hips so the club will be approximately a foot off the ground. Again, we're going to do the same thing. This is only backswing, by the way. It's okay for your head to twist a little bit, like mine is doing, as long as, again, you keep the head in between the feet very centered or the best you can do. Then the last step would be to address the club on the ground, take your back swing, check where you are at the top of the swing. Things we want to avoid, definitely excessive head movement to the right or excessive head movement to the left. You can see how in both cases the body is tremendously off balance, which causes further complications in the rest of the swing. Once you get a good feel for this, with your feedback in place, then you can make down swings, swinging through the finish. And when you get to the finish, you will see the head is really no longer in the center of the feet. That's because the weight has shifted more towards the left foot in the downswing. Final stage of that drill would be club on the ground, hitting golf balls. Okay, and when you get to that point, you should film your golf swing from this perspective. If you see there's a problem, it's time to go back to the drill, put more reps into it until you can do it with a golf ball.